What are you doing back there? Just picking up some things that my mom is getting rid of. She did some cleaning. Woo! If you look inside this bag. Oh my gosh, yes. Shoes. There's like a ton of shoes. A ton of shoes that she's getting rid of. Hats. She's gonna be donating this to the world. Oh, look at Center. that hat. Um, <laughs> busted. And I got a big bag of clothes back there to give to women in need. Thanks, son. <laughs> I clean the house and I have stuff sitting by the door ready to go towards to the shelter for women in need. Hi friends, welcome back. And those of you who are new to my channel, a warm welcome to you too. My name is Tessie and my channel name is called Unfolding with Grace, where I'm unleashing, exploring, healing, and transforming in my second chapter of life. I am exhausted. It was a long day at work. I put on a 60th birthday for a co-worker and it was non-stop from 5.30 this morning because I was on a Zoom call um, and also just getting to work and getting everything situated. So yes, I'm a little bit of a hot mess, but this is how I look at the end of the day, threw on some loungewear and ready to chit chat with you. So this video is going to be a compilation of several things that I do uh, during the week. I think it was actually over a two week period that I filmed. So you're gonna see um, a restaurant, it's called, um, Restaurante Alegria that I had to check out in Napa for an event, which was actually today. They did me a favor and um, accommodated me at last minute. The food was delicious. I think um, I had a, a cabbage, Napa cabbage salad with prawns but I also ordered uh, for the group different things that they could try. But I think my the best thing that I liked there was the popper deli. So if you're ever in Napa, it's called Restaurante Alegria. I think that's how you pronounce it. And yeah, so you will see the, the restaurant there. And then also you're, I'm challenging myself again this year of going out to different farmer's markets. So I actually went to a farmer's market in Orange County. It's beautiful, it was by the beach. Um, one thing that I did notice is it is one of the best vegan um, farmer's markets that I went to. They had a variety of vegan food and plant-based food, even vegan and plant-based Chinese food. Um, Indian food, but I mean, just an assortment of things. And yeah, I mean, it's just, it was, it was beautiful. But I do have to say, Paris has, oh, work, um, work email, hang on. Okay. Um, Paris has one of the best farmer's market. I mean, the way how they decorate it with all the florals and all the fresh fruit. And I'm, I have yet to find a farmer's market that is, uh, that can even compare to that. So if you know one, let me know, because if it's in California, I'm willing to do a weekend getaway to go explore, because I am going to put that on my bucket list to go to as many different farmer's markets this year again, because when I did it last year, it was a ton of fun. But yes, you will see in this video, oops, my, my tripod is shaking, a few things that I have been doing over the last couple of weeks. And a lot of it was also preparing uh, for the baby shower, but I had to do a trip, um, a little short trip in between and, um, been, been a busy girl. So thank you folks again for all the great comments that you left on my silver hair video. I'm in a better place right now with my mindset. You know, I'm just not going to conform to society's expectation to chasing youth. Uh, the day that that video actually uploaded, I um, was at an event and I met 
one of my silver sisters. I couldn't believe it. I recognized her off of an Instagram picture from Silver Sisters and she had, I wish I would have taken a picture um, with her at this event, but I completely forgot because I was so engaged in conversation with her of how she takes care of her hair. And her skin tone was similar to mine and she's more salt than pepper, but you know, definitely a nice blend. And I hope that my hair will, even if I, it looks a little bit like hers, I'm looking forward to the full growth of it. But you all have had wonderful comments and supporting me either way, if I was gonna jump for that box tie or if I was gonna remain strong. For now, I am going to still try to remain um, focused on reaching the end goal because I don't think I ever want to experience that that transition period uh, with the demarcation line because that was the hardest time for me is when it was so obvious when you know you had the root and then the line was right here but now it's like long enough where you don't see that demarcation line hang on folks my work is it's what it's almost seven o'clock and they're still trying to get a hold of me hang on gratitude. I'm just so, um, I feel good. Everyone was just thanking me of putting on a great event and it was a lot of fun. I love my job. You know, it is, I am, I am blessed to work for an amazing company and as well as a team that I respect and I adore, you know, they, they're just good people. Um, but yes, yeah, so now back to this video. I don't know what else I'm gonna be throwing in there. I just have to go through um, my library and see what's in there that I have been doing for the past couple of weeks. And I'll take you along as we explore Northern California and Southern California. And uh, yeah, I, and also just a reminder, Dylan and I will be doing a Q&A probably at the end of the month. So please drop any comments below of any questions uh, that you want to ask Dylan and I, and we will put a video together for all of you. And yes, so enjoy the video. I don't think I'm going to make uh, an ending to that, so enjoy what's to come. But until my next video, thank you so much for being here, and may all of you be blessed and top top for now. <laughs> We're back on the trail. Can you see? I can see. I can see me. I can see us. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I love hiking with these girls. We just laugh the whole time when we're hiking. And yeah, this is on our way back. And look at this beautiful view. Just love being by the water and being out in Mother Nature. And one of my favorite sounds in the whole world is gravel under the soles of my feet. It's like kissing Mother Nature. Now we're in Southern California, walking towards the farmer's market, but we stumbled across this uh, church and in front of the church, they had a cross where people can hang tags of their hopes and dreams. I just fell in love with this because it was I've never seen anything like that. And here's a little shop that I stopped in and they had a bunch of little trinkets and goodies there.
Here we are at the beach. This is my favorite part about going down to Orange County is being by the water. This is 9 a.m. in the morning and look at all the families out, people playing volleyball, while I just stroll along on the sand and feel the grains of sand in between my toes and get a natural exfoliation. I just love being out here. I love the ambiance. I just love how slow paced it is compared to where I live now. And I just love the weather out here as well. I am visioning myself enjoying retirement life out here, just hanging out by the beach and meeting people, such as this group of people. I could see myself. Namaste. This is me checking out all my silver hair, looking at the growth. I'm just curious. I was checking out this place for a possible event and fell in love. Not only was the food good, but the ambiance was great. Uh, they had an upstairs level that you could look down on. They had some private rooms as well. And they also had a nice patio area, but I thought it would be a little too chilly if the weather was not right because Napa weather right now is still in the uh, 60s, um, but it worked out well. I'm ending this video where my daughter took me to a spa and it's very sentimental because back in the day I took her here a few times after she participated in three-day volleyball tournaments and I just wanted to give her relaxation and now she's treating me and of all things I bump into one of my old friends. Does that really say Lola, like in the Filipino grandmother? We had lunch at the beautiful Restoration Hardware restaurant in Yonville, and I love the chandeliers, how the sunlight hits it and just flickers light throughout the restaurant. The food was delicious, especially this lobster sandwich. They just filled it to the brim. And here we end the day. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe.